Imagine a school kid. You really committed to that sign. I'm really like, look at this motherfucker. I come into school, right? I'm just like, hey kids, what's this picture of a cat? Like, cat! What's the picture of a dog? Like, no! I'm like, what's this picture, kids? Like, car! I'm like, no! Scat! <laughs> and I skirt up in their face. <laughs> I skirt, I skirt up in their face, man. That's the best. And the kids are just like, oh, and so that means skirt! All the way in Key Lord Downs, the homie at the Furious's house. Because um, we're trying to record. We're trying to get this done. Even if we have to drive an hour, 45, 50 kilometers, we're trying to get it done. Uh, Big fucking eyes with a nice fucking fish. What's that from? Bad Boys 2. Remember Is it? Mark, remember Marcus actually takes the ecstasy when they dig the <laughs> and he goes back to the boss's house and like... Hey. Yo! Hey! It's alright. We used to keep in a ghetto. We used to, we did this in a bar one time as well. Yeah, I saw that one. Oh yes! Oh, That's shit. the best! <laughs> we need some of this shit! Actually, look, look towards Alex. Say Alex is sitting there talking. Yo, I mean like, are you fucking serious, man? The haircut like that? You get pictures? <laughs> oh, you got him, got him. It's fine. You can talk about that and it's up really well. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was quality. Um, yeah. Okay. Jungle motherfucking beats! We in here, we out here. Where are we, man? Yo, we're in motherfucking E, aka Hot Papa. AKA Elephantarius the delivery boy. Yo, up above there should be should be a little 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 link here yeah. with, with everything about that man that you want to know about. This is his garage. We're all the way in Kilo Downs for those hey. who live in Melbourne, Victoria, know know where the hell that is. Uh, it's about an hour away. We I drove about an hour to get here. Mm -hmm. Um, because we just want to do this by any means necessary and we will do it. Um, we can't be in Abbey Road every week, that amazing studio we were in, thanks to, thanks to yo, E. It was like walking to heaven, the gates open, oh, there's like damn. strippers, nice like, 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 yo. Check this bitch out. Anyways, what's your name, man? Let, uh, the, let the people know. Alexander Sandalis. Who are you again? Sean Connor. All right, I'm going to put that above your head. That's it. I'm going to put that above your head. You're Motherfucking no Sean Connor. Check <laughs> me out. I didn't get that from like John Connor and Sean Connery. Not at all. Dude, we about that'd, be, to do... that'd be a great combination. Oh, yeah. What are we about to do? Is... Come on, bro. Focus. <laughs> we about sorry, to do Goldnick's right? album oh. at what cost? It's been a little while since it's been a release, yeah. um, but we're going to get to it, you know? And hopefully get to XXX Tentacion and get to Rick Ross. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of shit we want to do. But right now um, it's Gold Link. Quickly on Gold Link, 14 caught, track album. Caught up on him with the God Complex, which I believe is his best work still to date. Really good, sort of. It was sort of an album. It was mixtape, I'd say. And then, um, and after that, we didn't talk was his first thing. Uh, I after God Complex, up, me and my homie, we were just like, "Yo, this guy's got a big. I think he's got. He can get a lot of good commercial success because of his voice, the way that he does his music. Katrin Art just." flows really well with his sound. And uh, what we're expecting, well, what I'm, I'm expecting is something very similar to And After That We Didn't Talk, but a more polished version. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to be working with the same producers. He doesn't seem like an artist that's ready to grow too much and try and expand more. I think he's just very comfortable with his sound right now and wants to polish that. So I agree. Yeah, I, yeah. I think he's very comfortable with his sound. That's his, that's his strength, right? That is his strength. So stick with the strength. Mm. Um, I don't think he wants to experiment too much, but I may be proven wrong. Uh, his concert that we went to in Melbourne um, last year was dope. Yeah, he, he rocked that at, shit. He stayed around after to talk to the fans and we had some good conversation with him. Yeah, um, we did. He's a cool guy and got an insight into how he creates music. But right now, let's get to it because I know y'all put it in the comments. It starts at 3 minutes 60. It start oh, That doesn't make sense. It starts at 5 minutes 23. It starts at 4.20. <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm I'm just drag it out right here, right now. This is... Don't you want to hear this part? Maybe you don't. That's fine. That's Yo, fair enough. I always watch the intros of videos because they're super interesting and informative. Track one. Track one. <laughs> Opening credit, and we're going to go straight into track two. Same clothes as yesterday featuring uh, Cisco. Row. This booty mouth, and you ain't flying this goofy. I'm up in the backseat of a black chick from the classy. <laughs> Oh, I like that. I fucking like that a lot. Oh. I wonder why he started with... With the other dude? Cicero. Yo, first. like, why do you want to intro the album with someone that wasn't him? I always... Right. I don't mind artists... That, I'm trying to think of a few examples of artists that have done this. But none of fucking come to me. It's, it's very intentional, but I just... I'd be curious oh. to know why. Oh, no, I was thinking... 
El Sweatshirt, I think, did it with one of his projects, but, but it's more like spoken word. I don't know. I thought that was a very, if you listen to tracks with like, like Sober Thoughts, like, 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 with, like that's a very similar golden sounding beat. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's it's just that's a gold link beat that he's like, and he just he was did great his thing, man. He did his thing. He man. did his thing. It's it's a good, it's a classic opening. gold link, man. Just bouncy. I already just want to go back and listen to that track again. All right, just happy, yeah, high yeah. energy. It's a colorful song. I like saying colorful, describing song. The hook was good, a good hook, and also the end with that know. that chick at the end, sort of closing it out. I thought that was like that was a really good track. Hey, man. Sounded like it was really well mixed. Pretty quality start to the album. Yeah, I right. dig. I dig a lot. Track three. Have you seen that girl? Felicia. No. That production is right in my avenue. Those fucking right. drums and the fucking like real sort of like low sort of quality sort of keys in the back, like Oh, that was that was great. It did have like Drake feel no ways. It had like a bit like of a start to it. Bit of like a, a late eighties sort of bounce to it as well. That's that's his, that's kind of his sound a lot of the time. But it's he, like but a modern. But he always 80s. sort of polishes in a way which makes it today. Whereas yeah. that definitely took it back right. a bit. Like it sort of had more of that influence too much more and than his sound. And that makes sense. Looking at the cover, you know, the cover. I look at the cover. You know, it's kind of an artistic drawing. You know, there's two, uh, you know, scantily dressed women in the back that remind yeah. me of like a. You know, old '90s kind of, I don't know, feel to it. It's 80s a dope maybe. cover. I hadn't seen it till like then. So, all right. Yo, I'm loving what I'm hearing. The feature was on point again as well. Hands on your knees, featuring Col. Kate. Oh Col shit! What's Col he trying? What's he trying to say about hands on your knees? Cocaine. Right cocaine? Like with the K? No, no, no. It's got a K. But it's cocaine. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Okay. Oh, 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 You think hands on your knees is like a, a a kind of a callback to like the dancing they kind of did back then? I think so. Yeah, I think that with the sounds you had there and also the the sort of the sp spoken sort of word, like yeah, that yeah. goes back to sort of the Grandmaster Flash sort of. So I think he's got a, he's kind of like taking that sound and probably like interpreting it to into this album. I'm already getting a feel that Golding's not really trying to create a, like he's trying to create something a little different. Maybe not so much like about him, but so much about an experience. Kind of like a, he's taking us back to kind of like an era, to kind of a sound, to a, to a memory of his maybe. I, I don't know. No, it could be onto someone there. I just, I feel like it's more about the sound at the moment. Yes, but then yes. Again, but once again, I haven't really delved too much into what he's saying, so. I think he's just, it feels like he's just telling us stories from different, yeah. just telling us stories, which is a music. You can say anything about music. But yeah, yeah, that was cool. That was a cool sort of interlude, so I was, I was pretty cool with that. Our meditation featuring Jasmine Sullivan. Damn, and, it's been a and, while since I've heard Jasmine and, Sullivan, man. And Kate Trinado. Woo! I want to meet your ex so I can be them and have a daughter and be a teacher and never follow and be a lady. I want to be a body. I want to be a body. Everybody in your pussy right now. Everybody think they got you right now. But ain't nobody him that you don't please him. But you always do the teasing because you're feeling in the teeth and worship Keisha. Huh? Got niggas in your iPhone. That's one way to end a beautiful track. <laughs> oh shit, bitch! Yo, that track was fucking awesome. That was really a soulful. Jasmine came in and made it real soulful. Oh yeah, yeah, and just the way that it was just like kept adding to that instrumental as well. And yeah. The way Jasmine Sullivan, I haven't heard her in so fucking long, but she she threw that track really beautifully. I did a thing on the hook. Golding did his thing. The ending, I I kind of like how like yeah, at the end of it, it was like there was a loud party and the music was in the background. Everyone's like talking at the top and then gunshots. So I'm thinking maybe that will lead into the next track. Okay. So you think, okay, so I said before, like, take, he's kind of taken us back to a kind of an era and a sound. Maybe he's, as I said kind of before, like, maybe he's taken us to one entire night. This is just one night, this whole album, kind of one night, one experience. Hmm. I'm also getting maybe, like, 
it's like there's different sizes of gold. It's maybe this is like that side, and maybe he's taking it to a more of a I don't know because he you know he's 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 been through like you know gangs and all that sort of stuff. So that maybe there's that that sort of side of him coming up next. Like that's a good that's a good point. I don't yeah. know. Like maybe he's portraying different sides of him through his music, but I don't know how he can make his music. I wonder how he sound on a gangster beat, Gold Link. <laughs> that's a good question. I mean, I don't we'll think that well, that's one, what we're getting right We'll leave here. that one for another day. But, uh, so but far, production was definitely a highlight right there. Golding float over that beat and just like what he fucking does. smooth as butter. That is what he does. <laughs> All right, man. Cuts through like butter. What's next? <laughs> Track six, Her Side Story. Oh. You like it? Yeah, no? I don't like the hook. The down for you. Baby, the, 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 the song was too hook heavy. His verses were too short. And I felt the, the hook like... Was he on the hook? I think he was. I, know, some, I think it was some other guy. I don't know. I just I feel like... I his name. I just don't feel like it matched the energy of the song. I feel like the hook and the verses and just everything going on. I, just, I don't think it matched. I don't think it, from what we've heard so far it matched anything. I didn't like the hook. I kind of like the tempo of it, like the da 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 but like the way that it was done, like I, I wasn't a fan. It, it's probably the only song we didn't get, we, it wasn't like a boom bat got us up and kind of to move and stuff. So it was so straight after gunshots as well. Right, okay. I didn't, I didn't really get anything oh. like... Go ahead. He mentions, I'll just come and sit there. Hey, come in. Get your fine <laughs> hot papa ass <laughs> here. You, I'm calling you hot papa for now, you know that. <laughs> He mentions he pattern. mentions the sun not the rising when the sun the doesn't socks. when the sun doesn't rise on the yeah in the socks when the sun doesn't rise on the can't quite remember <laughs> so maybe it's that kind yeah, of yeah. that somber like something something serious just happened there just kind of almost like a reflection in a way that's why the sun kind of has that there's, like there's, sort of upliftingness yeah yeah but it, it's like that um almost uh what's the, what's the word for it Me- not mellow um uh, when something is like happy but it's also quite sad oh I know the word. Melancholy, yeah. Mm, melancholy I got a melancholy just, vibe from that. Melancholy, just sadness. Yeah, but isn't there also a little bit of happiness with that? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. Yo, dictionary.com. Dictionary right? so yeah. Yo, type in the comments below <laughs> the word that we're trying to find right now. Nah, I'm gonna get it. Mm. He's trying to say melancholy. I think I'm trying to say melancholy. Is it, I think melancholy it's is that, just sadness. I think it's a little bit of happiness is with it? it though. It's, I don't know, but either way, I just because I got the vibe where it wasn't full and uplifting happy, but it also wasn't completely depressing sad. Mm. It was like that in, in between, which is why I think it could have been so hook heavy because it was like that, let's just all get together, um, like have a sing together, let's just, let's just chill hmm. and just sort of reflect. You're not convincing him. I'm not convincing him. No, no, no. Well, it's, I'm going to go back and I'll be <laughs> convinced, but from a first like sort of listen. I think the hook, I just, it was just hard for me to get into it. I just didn't like the way it went about it. But the rest of the track I liked, the instrumental was a nice switch up to everything. I feel like what he's been doing so far is like everything's been flowing nice, but the instrument's been quite different, but still a taste acquired by Goldlink. Mm. So, okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> hot Papa. Why do you call him Hot Papa? Berries. I don't know, man. <laughs> I have no idea where it came it's from. Weird as fuck, man. Hey, track seven. I. Summertime featuring Wale and Radiant Children. Uh, Wale. That sums it up so beautifully. Go to town, we move to California. Duck off just a fucker so nobody knows in California. About a beat and women, it's so plenty. They need marijuana. It's so good head and just tell them turn their phone. Get no details. You wanna be with Easy Travis, Migos, or the Genesis? You wanna fuck a hundred rappers if it gets you narrow? Keep it on a hush hush, keep it on a DL. I-, I be in your dreams, and they be in your DMs. Dare I motherfucking say it? My favorite track so far. Really? With the yeah. Wale verse? Oh shit! I'm not a big Wale fan. I was like when he dropped Attention Deficit. I was all over that shit. I was a Wale stan. But album Ooh. after album after album, he just kept letting me down. He keeps dropping fire fucking tracks and verse here and there, but like I just don't give a fuck no more. But low key, the that beat and the hook is what does it. That hook is so beautiful over that type of like luscious sort of slow but sort of slight electro sort of beat. Radiant Children right there. Yeah. Like the way that like that that beat, that song was set up, was so perfectly set up for those verses. Hmm. 
and they killed it. That's an intelligent song, there, like, isn't it? When you have the setup, the setup was perfect, man. And right. just they like, and the way that it sort of finished as well, like it just sort of switched up again. Like just everything about that track was beautiful. That's my type of hip hop. That's agree, definitely man. my favorite track so far. Probably not my favorite track, but if I mean, may who knows what can happen? But it definitely felt good, and I like Wale's verse and Golding's verse. That. All right, man. If I was Add in prison the... and someone's about to do me, I'd put that on. I'd feel okay about it. So unlike unlike <laughs> XXX Tentacion, and not beat the guy in, not get <laughs> the to beat, Daily beat the. Killer bear. <laughs> All right. I mean, next track. We'll talk about that. <laughs> keep it keep it locked. Jungle beats. Uh, roll call featuring Maya. Okay. I this year, real niggas with the shirt like a boy, yeah. uh, Got a face with my girl last year. She the main reason. But it's cool cause they still ain't face and we still grow But I tell you what you won't do Bet you won't tell these niggas that they better move Uh, strapped up playing cute of fools And I got a scheme as to a number one on the twos Yeah, yeah Nasty, nasty roll call featuring Maya okay, Just quickly, imagine I'm a school kid You I really committed to that sign I'm really, like, look at this motherfucker I come into school, right? I'm just like, hey kids What's this picture of a cat? Like, cat! What's the picture of a dog? Like, no! I'm like, what's this picture, kids? Like, cat! I'm like, no! I skirt up in their face. <laughs> I, skirt, I skirt up in their face, man. That's the best. And the kids are just like, oh, so that means skirt! Or, you know, as Migos like to do, scoot, scoot! Or, like, you know, that, that track with Devastated. Scoot, scoot! Fuck, there's some crazy fucking shit skirts out that's there. That's one of the best things you've ever done. That's one of the that's, that's Yo, I'm just gonna jump on one of E's tracks that's and just drop time. a just giant skirt. You want our skirts. I'm just gonna drop the it's, giant Our skirts are all oh, time. It's a pretty bad it's a pretty bad Layer it in there. Uh, oh. Alright. Um cool track. <laughs> cool track. <laughs> cool track, man. <laughs> you know what? I feel the same way. I'm not even really trying to talk about it, really. Sorry, Gold League. I'm trying to talk about your music, but I got to educate the kids, you know? Yeah, do it for the kids, bro. Go, and get, your, kids, go and get your kids, ho. <laughs> track nine. Nah, it was a cool track. Um, I think my the feature was probably didn't resonate with me as much as the other features. No, That's I agree. All. The feature was a bit more plastic. Yeah, a bit more uh, safe, a bit more mainstream, a bit more radio friendly, a bit more, you know, Yeah. You know, basic bitch. It didn't hold that soul, same soulful weight. You know what I'm saying? Ba yeah, you know that basic bitch, you know. You know, everyone everyone hit it, everyone hit that bitch. They know she, yeah, she, she, you know. she ain't the best, but you know, if you want to hit something and you be a dry spell, you hit that shit. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not gotta really like Gotta do what you gotta this. do sometimes. All right. Wow, Alex, I didn't know you, didn't know you had that intro. <laughs> Man, he's got. Oh, oh, oh. Right. <laughs> Next track. <laughs> track nine. The Parable of the Rich Man featuring April George. You're gonna have to explain that one, Gold Link. <laughs> I want to see that one live. That hook live? was that hook was trash. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's like Alabama shakes, but with other Alabama just the shakes. <laughs> Yo, I feel like I can't sing, and even I can hit notes better than that. You know, refer who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about, but you're talking about April George. No, no, she was fine. It's just no, she was forced to hit those notes because Gold Link hit the same notes. There's certain notes they hit, and they just sounded. Just they like they sound a little off, but they were meant to be a little off. It was just I could tell they were meant to be that way, but like it was very hard for me to listen. Can be progressively losing their mind throughout the track. That's what I'm sort of like. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely there's a reason that he's gone the route that he's gone. Like yeah, it's meant, to, know, it's meant to sound that little bit not unlistenable. What's the word I'm looking for? It's meant to sound that little comfortable. bit comfortable. It makes you sort of tweak it's a dissonance. bit. It's a dissonance. The dissonance. The dissonance. Just dissonance. Dissonance. Yes. The way that he's haven't used that like, one before, have you? Tones that are clashing. Yeah. So it's kind of like, yeah, like there's a part, there's like a voice in his head maybe that's like, you know. Well, it's remember the title is Parable of a Rich Man. Now, I can't remember what parable means, but maybe it means something like plight to the rich man or something like uh Isn't a parable struggle. like a, a story? Story. So, see, just, yeah, maybe. So maybe that's when the last half of the track comes in where it kind of got to that the church singing kind of hymn. And it comes hymn. to like him like at the subway. 
Oh, is that what a subway? Wasn't it like at the end with the train sort of coming maybe. in? Maybe. Like I'm going to need to listen to that a couple more times because I uh, I'm just don't have... Maybe someone... I want to see it live, though. Why? I want to see, see them hit those notes live. Imagine just the, specifically the choir part. Okay. Lights are off. Choir's playing. Okay. Would he get the full choir in, though? I don't it? think he's doing that. If he did, that'd be incredible. Yeah, he ain't... That leads to, like, you know, the lights dim and that leads to the next track. That'd be... That'd be really dope if you could do that. But, um... Uh, so someone help us interpret this. Not necessarily this. a bad track, but like I didn't really enjoy it. Just not for not for you, not for me. Oh, it's more like once you know, go back to it again, find more context about it, see where it fits in. This one has a uh, music video, and we're gonna plug the AUX into the laptop and have a look. That was uh. Okay, we're in it. I'm comfortable. Dude, I look, look good. You blended in with the couch, man. <laughs> I actually am. Uh, crew was that's a dope track. Can I get the AUX called sir? Yo, hook smooth, beautiful. I like the feature as well. Cause it was it, like I didn't I, no, cause I feel no, I'm not convinced on feature, but please tell me how you feel. I just feel like the change of pace. Like at first you're like, oh, I don't know how to feel about this, but then he just I don't know who the the, the feature was, but uh, the way that he rapped over the beat in his sort of way compared to Gold Links, like it the way he switched it up, it just sort of worked. I felt because right. he just he really did he really did sing on there. You it, think it added to the song? I just feel like they had two completely different styles, but they just complement each other well. All right, man. Like I don't normally like I don't know. I just thought it worked. I think, um, yeah, this that's one of the best songs in my opinion. It feels good. That song feels oh, good yeah, right that's there. That's a feel good track right there. Um, crew. Get Up and Groove. Track mm. 11. We Will Never Die featuring Lil Dude. Come on. How many Lil's are there going to be? Lil Dicky, Lil Wayne, Lil <laughs> Uzi. Who's up Lil Dude? You just ask and get Lil Dick puns for you. <sighs> like, oh, it's Lil Dude. Are you I that uncreative? Are you that uncreative? You got to say Lil Dude? Unless it's a big dude, ass reason. I tell you reason. that I used to be rapping. My name was Little Hot Dog Water. Track 11. <laughs> Sex game had a ass blowing me up. I got the moves. She got the moves. We got the moves. I make a titties move. She make a city move. Skirt. Billy Hyde. Fuck around and die. Tell too many lies And I know he don't want beef Cause he wanna stay alive And I'm as bad as these kids now Cause I kill anything else And trigger never had heart The heart spinning the kids Grab my waist and had to double check him just in case he checking what I think he checking was a maid that was born tough. Click me on me like a hand. Looking over the track as it fades out. Um, you said we weren't gonna hear like a golden cover trap type beat. I think we just heard it. I thought that was probably the worst track in the album. I feel like the, the hook was the best part of that track. I feel like the first verse wasn't very good. Golding's verse didn't match the beat at all. I feel like the way that he flowed was exactly how he'd flow on a different sounding beat, which suits him. That sort of flow that he used in, I don't think suits that beat at all. I think it suited the latter half, but whatever. I feel the way the hook came back after each verse was too sudden, too out of place. Uh... The beat was good. Little dude feature was was was, was I not good. Think that, that 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 song, everything was all over the place, structured pretty pretty badly. That track should not be on this album. I don't think it in my opinion. Album. I don't think it should should have been made. <laughs> I think that that beat should have gone to someone else that would have used that beat better. There were, yeah. there's hundreds of artists out there that would have made that track better. I don't know why he put little dude on there. Um, I think I, Golden can do a track like that good. I just feel like he needs to change his style up for a track like that. All right. You, sorry, man. I think I went over the top of you. I'm sorry, man. No, you didn't at all. It's all good. Emotional. Yeah, worst track so far. <laughs> Third last track. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce this right. Kokomo Freestyle. Niggas on the jammy shit. Uh-uh. Three miles of even nose for a gun. Nose black and yellow boots with the boots in the jaw suit. And addicted to the power. Ain't gonna lie, yo. Ain't no fear. I'm never willing to put a shell up in yo. Ain't no telling when we do it. We just shoot and get ya. Got a bad round here and talk crazy. You get wet up. We ran so many niggas out of here. 
See, that's more a beat that has more of that sort of. I don't think it's trap, but like, it's more a beat for like more trap influence. It's a trap that's different for Gold Link. That he sounds good over, right? I think that he that, sounded amazing yeah. over that. So that's the that's essentially what you wanted to hear instead of the yeah. last previous one. Exactly. Yeah. And the switch up at the end with the with the you know the feature, beautiful. And then bringing it back. That's a dope track. One of my favorites. Uh, top three for me. I reckon yeah. that track, the one that I said was my favorite, and the one with that boom and bass. When you background. match your cadence so well, when you literally Yo. match your cadence so well with the beat, you hit me immediately. You get me. Like I'm in. I'm, I'm in. I imagine a dog in the background is going. <sighs> In the background of the beat, man. Well, this like, isn't pink guy. Yeah, I know. That's why. That's, that's why. Well, that's what I imagine. Fuck like <laughs> like yeah! It's, uh, it's, it's, so, so far with the album, man. Like I'm loving tracks, and then I'm like, I don't know. There's not tracks that I've like. There's only one track I really didn't like, but there's been tracks I've been like iffy about. Right. But like, I don't know. In terms of like as an album as a whole, I'm not like, you know, if, if someone told me, would you check out this Golden <laughs> album? I'm like, yeah. Did you love it? No. Did you like it? Yeah. That's how I'm feeling right now towards this album. All right, well, we'll see. Second last track, Some Go. Girl, featuring Steve Lacey. That was an amazing outro. The amount of different sounds we heard there. Yo. Um, I think we're really just getting a sort of a taste of Gold Link's just... <clears throat> taste of music, I guess. Because throughout the album, we've heard a lot of different sounds. I think there's a lot of different sounds that, you know, that sort of shows who he is as an artist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like all throughout that outro was just like different elements of like different types of music. Oh, okay. okay. Well, now, now, I now I get, now I kind of like get more of interpretation because I was not engaged throughout that. Really? Um, yeah. I thought the difference, the different switch up of sort of, because he hasn't, he hasn't rapped on a beat like that before. I still think that like his style didn't really complement that beat perfectly but i thought the hook was i thought the hook was pretty well done and each time the singer came in for the hook he's like it wasn't like a a cut copy recording like it was different sort of every time he kept adding different sort of things to it really oh so and when that hook came in from that other guy steve lacy i felt like why are we why are we listening to the same hook four times over it was hook heavy but he switched up the hook a bit i think that's why i got like, put it in i there. must not have noticed um to me it sounded the same and the outro didn't I got bored. I You're got bored. bored. I got bored. I, I, I felt like it was just being dragged out. I don't, I didn't feel that at all. I thought okay. Golding's definitely just showing. Well, good. We have some differing opinions. I think that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's good. Fuck your opinion. <laughs> hey man, they're like assholes, man. You know, fuck everybody's. I've never fucked an asshole. Oh I've yeah. Been asked countless times. I nearly did a week ago. Yeah. That's besides the point. <laughs> you gotta make sure that bitch, you know, cleans that shit. You know. She was ready. She was prepping. I just ran out. Of, I ran out of protection. Always have a dinger. Always have a dinger. I missed out an anal. I'm not mad. Some of them don't know what that is. That's, is that Australian colloquialism? A dinger? Uh, yeah. It's Australian. Don't call them diggers. Called it's a terrible word for a condom. <laughs> Last um, track. I love that track. I thought the track was really good. I did not. Hey, what do you think? It's different. It's different. There that's, we go. That's, that's, got a good, good to Love it. Hate it. It's all right. I, I, appreciate, I, appreciate, I appreciate the fact that he's, he's trying to... Push a boundary towards the end there. I was getting yeah. a lot of that, like that late sixties. Yeah, I was getting like the sort of like the era of like uh, bands like Kiss and that sort of stuff. Like they're sort oh, of. You know about Kiss? Uh, what's it called? Prog rock? Is that what it's called? Yeah. That sort of stuff. I don't know. I got sort of that sort of feel to it. I was getting more like the animals that kind of sound. Ah, uh, like that. That's that guitar. Yeah. No, actually, yeah, that's probably more. It's probably more spot on. Yeah. Last know. track. <laughs> Pray every day, survivor's guilt. I may have heard this before. Last track. Gold link. All right. At what cost? Good closer. Good closer. Quality closer. Enjoyed it. Nice. I'm gonna let you go first. Final verdict. Final verdict. I don't know if I like this 
compared as much as his previous product uh, projects. I need mm-hmm. to go back and listen to the after this we didn't talk and um, God Complex. God Complex. Oh man, God Complex is hard to beat out for me though. God Complex is still his best piece. Of <sighs> That's hard to beat out. Um, I enjoyed this album. I enjoyed this experience. Bar a couple tracks. Um, overall, I think Old Link did a good job. I think he painted a great picture and told a lot of stories that we haven't really uncovered yet. I think the features overall were great and they were a good choice, including Kate Trinard, Jasmine Sullivan, Wale, Wale, Cicero. You know, I think they did their thing. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of Gold Link. I'm a supporter of Gold Link. I like what he's doing, and I will continue to support him. Shia LaBeouf. Um. One thing I love about this album is that he's portraying a load of different sounds. And on a lot of tracks of this album, those different sounds will clash with each other, which is why a lot of the times you might be like a little iffy. So I feel like this isn't a good album, but I think it's a start. Not even good? I think it's an okay album. I feel like this is from my first point of view. I feel like the, this is an album which is the album in between of an album which will be great afterwards because he's mucking around with so many different sounds. I really think he needs Should've to just call it a playlist, huh? <laughs> I really think he needs to work differently with his voice, like find different types, different type of rap voice, different type of flows. Like he's he's sticking to certain formulas and not shying and not shying away from it because it's working for him. But I feel like because he's working with so many different other beats now, he needs to switch up other things as well to, to work with that. Right. And I don't think he's realized that. I don't think it's I don't think it's really working. So I love from this album the fact that he's evolving a lot. He's working with a lot of different people. He's still sticking with like, you know, Kate Trinard and that because that His just roots. fucking works for him. I really thought that he was going to pump out another album like that, which followed up and after that we didn't talk, which I think is a good album. I think and after that we didn't talk flows a lot better than, than this album. But this album definitely is the start of something bigger for him. There were probably about seven tracks in this album that I really fucking love. A few tracks this album that I was like iffy about and a few that I just blatantly just thought it shouldn't be on here. So yeah, I think it's an okay album. I'd go back and listen to it again as an album, but I'd probably go back more so for certain tracks. Yeah. All right, and, um, I think that's purely what this is. Like, I think he's definitely trying to showcase his ability over sort of beats of like things that have influenced him, uh, telling the right, a lot, lot more stories about him more than anything else, I think. But I don't know. I think it's the start to something better. I feel like his next piece Hopefully, of work. He doesn't have that many projects before, you know, mm. people start discounting him. Yeah. I feel like he's going to pick a certain sound from what we're hearing from this album and follow it up with his next album and we maybe have see. a more quiz a piece of work. Or maybe we'll get like another all over the place thing like this album. Cause I, I, I think it's an okay album. Nothing more needs to be said. Yeah. Uh, Jungle Beat on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check us out. If you have the funds, supporting us on Patreon would be amazing so we could fund ourselves for this new warehouse studio we're about to move into. In any mm. case, thank you. All right. I wonder what he thinks. Appreciate about the album. Yeah. Oh shit, bitch. We about to extend Get your this. Beautiful body right here. Alex, you're onto you're onto a good outro there. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Sorry, man. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was I don't know, I think it was pretty cohesive, man. I think yeah. I think it's kinda of interesting when you point out that he should be trying different styles of this flow. And then when he does the whole higher pitch thing, like it didn't, you didn't quite resonate with you. So I don't know. I feel like he was trying to experiment there. I don't know. I feel like all the features were great. The yeah. songs were well put together. I think I know what you mean though. Like it's not. Well, that was him more experimenting with like yeah. his singing. Like I mean, like mm. more his rap flows. Right. Okay. Because cool. he always sing raps. He never raps. Okay. Like you know <coughs> when he. When he, when, he, when he like raps, he's like, don't know. No. He's always got like a bit of a tone singingness to it. I want to hear like more just raps from him. Okay. Because I, I think he did it in a track before and he can rap. <coughs> okay. <laughs> no, fair enough. Yeah. No, I mean, on my first listen, I mean, it was like, the speaker was like going right into my. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I know I enjoyed it. I liked it. Yeah, I'm, def- I'm definitely going to go back to it. All right, man. Hmm. Oh, is a delivery boy. Me. Hey, what's up? Ali Belmont. Turkey, turkey shit Check out, that man. shit out. You don't, don't sleep, man. Don't fucking sleep, man. You don't want to fucking sleep, man. Don't anyway, don't anyway continue the outro, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I t- you I had totally like a whole you. thing no, going no, on. No, then. I know. Big piece of outro. You know, we're done. Boom. Done. Cut it. Nah, Boom. Nah, done. We're cutting it. We've still got more.